Well, here we go on this critique. Um, we had some uh, mix-ups on the dates. I won't let that happen again, but folks, they will always be due two weeks out from the time of the approximate time of the weekend that it's given on. So if it uh, happens again, you see that someone's got to send me an email, uh, you know, ping me somehow. Uh, it's, I'm easy to get a hold of Twitter, Flickr, Facebook, uh, pretty much anywhere. Let me know. So um, we won't have these problems again. So let's get a start here on this, uh, this thing here. First up is Thad G. Uh, got something going here now. It says, all right, so it's a severe weather um, thing. Okay, that's his particular um, approach to this thing. I like it. it's I, I, I it's flat, and so I mean when the clouds and this and the water are pretty much the same gray, we gotta watch out for that. We I mean I don't mind. Uh, uh, I think the um, the idea here is sound. Uh, showing the rough water and the high tide and et cetera, et cetera. But if our sky, I mean, look at this color right here, and you come down into this water, it's pretty much the same color. If this was done on purpose, I don't think it's the right place to do it. I think that the contrast would have been very important to show, uh, to show exactly how dangerous it could be. Where this, it looks pretty, it looks a little flat um, there. So we've uh, got... Robert Pack 84. He's got the, the poster here, um, which is kind of clever. Uh, I like the photograph as well. The photograph is kind of kind of cool. We got um, the snow packed all around this thing. Uh, it's a birdhouse, it looks like, in the snow. So definitely saying, hey, get ready for uh, some inclement weather. And also the fact that this showing a little birdhouse covered with snow sort of reminds us that we need to have our snow and things going as well. So uh, pretty cool with this. It's nice. Nice idea. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more pop to it if we can. Uh, get that, uh, you know, get the shot to have a little bit more oomph to it. Just a little um, gray there or or. It, it's it's something about the shot. It's not popping off. It's not really giving me that that uh, view of that the uh, uh, the little birdhouse is covered with ice there. Okay, we've got a uh, very cool uh, lighthouse kind of shot here. Got some green water up front. Not sure I understand the green water. It's kind of like with this. What do we say here? poster makers to consider yes you didn't have to make a poster folks you just had to make the photograph I uh, got a lot of spray coming up here on this uh, lighthouse that looks pretty cool um, the shot looks pretty cool I don't understand the green water uh, hopefully the photographer will pop in and let us know what that what that is if it's really that green or or if he's going to try to match the two greens here uh, as far as a punchy photograph it's punchy yes Got some nice detail in here. We got the the uh, lighthouse obviously being obscured by this giant wave smacking it and plenty of room for type. Simon Six, Dwayne Middlebrook, Batangas. Lovely weather all year. The only thing missing is you. Yeah, well, and that's a pretty shot. Um, now here's what we're going to do. When we do a shot like this, all of this looks great. This doesn't look great here. So we're going to have to take some of this grass and and filter it in or simply crop it out you know right to well just a little bit above there let's see if we can bring it down Ooh, I can't do it the, the, the mouse is too uh, you know right about there and kind of clone that in that foreground doesn't look all that cool so we don't want to have it in the shot if we don't have to uh, now this one works much better much better um, we're not going to critique the design. We we wouldn't do that. Uh, it's not wasn't part of the, the thing. It was a picture for a poster. I'll I'll try to be more specific. Uh, this picture I like because it invites us into it. And I think the only thing that would be missing is we've got this nice uh, distance, and then we got this middle layer. We got a closer layer. Wouldn't it be cool to have a table coming in like this, right into the foreground, inviting us into the scene rather than the the shade from the tree. Uh, if we're going to go with a layered approach, which we've got horizon, 
next layer, closer layer, trees right up front. Let's get something else in here. That that uh, that works well. Siliopolis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, beach season. Um, yeah, needs to be a vertical shot, but uh, it's kind of a cool shot there, Siliopolis. Just needs to be vertical. Remember the critters this winter? Yes, and this is from Tammy. Tammy Bogstrand. Um, got a little speed light on the camera. I think you've done a nice job, Tammy, with blending the ambient back here uh, and your little guy up front here. I don't know what that... I don't know what that um, that is. It must be some sort of bird feeder or something. Um, but that's a nicely done shot, Tammy. Sefton. Ten days of summer in Wellington. Okay, so we're going for the flare. We got all the flare and everything. The only thing, Sefton, I think the shot's a little flat. Uh, it's a little flat. The flare is just killing our, our sharpness in here. Uh, you know, maybe it's a stylistic thing and that's, that's what you were going for. If it is, you did it right. If it's a little soft for you too, then yeah, I would do something about bringing up a little bit of contrast and not a whole lot. I don't think you need a whole lot. You don't want this thing to look like, you know, like there's no flare for sure. But boy, it gets a little soft and teeth get a little yellow and it, it um, I'd like to see a little more pump to it somehow. Keep warm this winter, says Chris Dean. He's got his uh, mitten and his his hot chocolate in the background. Uh, I like the um, sort of Mondrian approach to this, you know, two panels of color, uh, breaking it up down here. Uh, I just think that the cup and the mitten are are they're kind of they're kind of um, they're kind of cool, but they're not giving a not getting a chance to to show us something cool as much as I think they should. I do like your your gradation back here. Um, just not feeling that the shot jumps off. Also think this is a little bit a little bit low here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe a pair of lipstick or something on there. Red lipstick that would match the other reds could could sell that a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, I, I you know overall it's kind of an interesting approach um, to the shot. I need to um, need to think about that one a little bit. Uh, I think it's an interesting approach, but it it didn't. I don't know if I would glance at that and stare at it for very long. And that's the idea of a of a poster. Come for the snowmobiling. Stay stay for the ice fishing. Okay, a couple guys out there on the lake fishing. Got to get some detail into this, into the sky. Got to get, I mean, to those trees. The detail is is gone, and it's just got to be there. Um, it's uh, one of the most important thing uh, things that we can do is to keep detail in these poster shots, unless, of course, detail is exactly what we're going away from. Uh, but when you're showing a shot, doing a picture kind of like this really want to see what those trees are doing back there so we kind of we don't have much texture here and we don't have much texture here and of course we don't have much texture in the sky um, the, the the picture is an okay photograph but I don't know if it's gonna make me want to go to that place to go snowmobiling or or uh, ice skating don't get blown away Damien Powell nice shot with the uh, wind sock there okay uh, and, and, and I wish it didn't have the type on it. Uh, that's okay. I mean, I, apparently people thought they needed to put type on it. So, um, uh, that's okay. Um, because without the type, it would have been a perfect example of a really graphic, really sharp image being used for a poster. And I think that's what's important. Um, uh, the 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 design um, we're not going to critique the design but the design doesn't help sell this picture but the picture if you can get past the the type here is exactly the kind of punchy dramatic photograph you need for a poster I like it 
Terra Rebecca, spring thaw, spring thaw, spring thaw, 90 second walk from your air conditioned office to the hot park car. Is that the spring thaw? <laughs> yeah, Phoenix, that's where I, that's where I live. Uh, so we got this really interesting uh, photograph here, um, and we've got the type on it. I like your approach. Uh, I like your clever type thing too, but I, I like your approach to the to the uh, image with this because you've created an image that needs to have this text. So that works. You need to have that text. It doesn't. The image doesn't work without the text. Um, so that's okay. Now, the, as far as the the light, I, I don't. I'm not understanding what's going on here. I've got like sunset back here, and then I've got light here. Uh, yeah, a little bit of over processing. I agree. GKMB, watch out. Okay, warning not to slip on the ice. Now, GKMB, here's the here's the thing. We, we can't see any detail in this person here. So when we look at it, we lose the idea of slipping on the ice. Okay? you got to pull the detail out on this person so that we can see them and we can identify with them. Because right now we have to hunt for them. We don't know what we see. We look up. We can't really figure it out. And we need to be able to figure it out instantly when we look at a poster I like your reflection here I like that need a couple strobes out here if we're gonna be if for this shot we need a couple strobes uh, keep that sky tamed and, and and the reflection tamed and then yet to see this person California our weather can make you whine <laughs> All right, who's is this? Nick Photo, Nick G. Yeah, Nicky, uh, Nicky G. I like this uh, approach to the the uh, balloons. Um, that's neat. They have the same kind of colors going on here. That's kind of a neat shot, Nick. That's a neat shot. Uh, this shot is uh, pretty fun, too. Um, the subtlety of the light in, in here against that back that backlit sky. The subtlety of this foreground light is, is really pretty. I like it a lot. I like your composition there too. Chris Fisher, top 10 reasons to visit Arizona. Because you can't golf in Minnesota in January. Well, that's true. <laughs> nice shot, Chris. Uh, kind of fun. <laughs> Bar three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Kind of fun. Um, we've lost the texture and we've lost the texture and we don't, we lose our trees up against the sky, the, the other trees. Uh, I, th I think uh, uh, we, this is a little gray. Um, I think you you took the shot you didn't make the shot and I really want you to make the shot Chris no matter what you do you got to make the shot carry a speed light with you a small soft box if you have to um, but whatever uh, Thad G okay PR approach Wells Beach Maine this is why you leave this is why you come back absolutely uh, both those shots work for me uh, very very nicely done this is a little little heavy with the fill flash looks like a naked flash might be better off with a bit of a soft box in there um, I don't know but uh, yeah uh, you got the boot and shovel boot and shovel you made a picture you made two pictures here you made them um, cool uh, it's rainy it's cold it's football season it's the ceiling all right and uh, it looks rainy and cold. We've got the white skies. We've got sort of the gray feeling to the light. You see there's no real deep shadows or, or anything like that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this could be kind of fun. Uh, kind of taken from a distance. Not sure I care the, the, about the distance so much. But I do like this. I do like what's going on with the light here. Um, okay. I'm going to, yeah. Okay. David Maynor, uh, 2000. Let me go back up here. Um, this shot looks like like it was taken 
not made, and yet there's something about it that really strikes me kind of interesting. I kind of like the, the, the approach to it here. Um, so maybe it was made then because it made, made to look like it was taken. Okay. David Maynard, 2012, festival season in Lafayette. Uh, okay. Um, photographer Philip Gould. Okay, uh, here's the here's the thing about a shot like this. When you take a shot like this, I want you to step back critically. And I think going into the shade, sometimes you're using one of those loops that you can put down onto the camera and you know pull up the image and everything. When you take a shot like this, you've got some touchstones. For one, we have piano keys that must be white and these guys are a full stop away his beard must be white his skin tones must be brighter this whole thing is underexposed in the front here might be able to fix it in Photoshop that's okay uh, you know if you missed it by one we can pretty much fix that in Photoshop miss it by two we're losing something when we fix it but this looks like it's one stop under to me it's just a little flat we've lost all detail in the front of the shirt, the separation of the accordion, and we have gray accordion um, keys, a very gray beard, uh, and skin tones that are very, very, very dark. So, I like the music shots. To Cochin, don't worry about Aqua Alta. We've got lots of bridges you can climb. All right. Um, got the boots put in there looks like they were put in with Photoshop that's fine if you're gonna do that now uh, you got to look at these boots and we go look at this at this area got a blue sky um, got some uh, highlights on the water so we're definitely gonna have to add some shadow under these boots you put a little some shadow under there it's gonna look a whole lot more real that's the uh, that's the key to that um, all right I yeah Kind of a nice uh, approach to the weather thing. Hurricane Alute. Uh, uh, we'll go back up. The picture is flat, and that's uh, with the blue sky. I'm not liking the. I'm you know if that sky was white, I would understand this. But that that light blue sky wants my brain wants to find some some light on here, light and shadow, and it looks like it's a very overcast day because we're going to go all the way back up under this bridge and st still see texture. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Because then we get to the boots. The boots are very contrasty. And, uh, they were not in shot in the same place, of course, but looks a little uh, out of place. Hurricane alert. Be prepared for outages. Okay. Um, M. Whitehawk. Okay. Okay, showed us how we did it. A little bracket exposure process is HDR, added text, nothing fancy. Okay, so this was processed as HDR. Okay, um, when you're photographing something like this, like this, this has got a lot of metal on it. You've got to get something for this metal to reflect because right now it's reflecting nothing. There's some whatever it is is so far away. It's not coming up on it. So we end up with these areas of just black, no texture, nothing happening. We've got this rounded off thing, so it's going to give us the sky right there on the top. So look how pretty that is. That's the sky. Um, the top of the handles, that's the sky. So we've got some nice light here, but we lose it here. And that's where white cards come in, something that, that the shiny metal can see and reflect back um, would be best. If you're going to put in any kind of plastic container like this, uh, get it as clean as possible because um, unless you're going out of your way to make something look grungy and normal and what have you, unless you're going out of your way, you want it to be uh, pretty sharp. So watch out for that. Lola, Peoria, Illinois. Lola, beautiful idea, great concept. Um, Sorry you had to sacrifice one of your, your beautiful uh, uh, hats uh, here. Uh, nice concept. Blue skies, green, uh, 
dead leaves, uh, gray skies, uh, winter, summer. Uh, very interesting. And, and, and again, um, you've created a very simple graphic photograph. Something that would be up on the wall for a couple of you know months and people would still look at it. I think it's clever. There's not so much going on that they don't know what to look at. She is the star. Exactly right, Lily. Exactly right. Henson M. Henson M. Okay, we've got some cactus out there. Okay, we got to figure out what we can do for Melissa to, uh, to do this um, editing. Melissa, if you don't have Lightroom and you don't have Photoshop, uh, try um, Picasa, uh, P-I-C-A-S-A. -A. It's free. It's a Google tool. Um, it has some interesting little things on there. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find another list of online editors. I know there's some uh, places you can edit online This uh, that could help you. That's an interesting cactus photograph. Uh, I, would, I would do something in the foreground. So we didn't see the bottom of this cactus here, like rock or something here. Okay, let's let's get you some editing uh, editing stuff so you can you can be ready. Oh, uh, Blue Lace Daisy did a whole whole setup here. Um, hurricane, winter storm, Reno, Hurricane Sandy. Okay, these are great. Uh, right in here, I like that. Blue Lace Daisy. When disaster strikes, be ready. Now, here's the thing. This is underexposed quite a bit. Uh, I, we've lost all of our feeling of silver and stuff. So don't be afraid. Um, blue Lace. I'll just call you Blue. Uh, don't be afraid there, Blue, to do a bracket. In other words, do multiple shots at different uh, apertures or shutter speeds, which is whichever is best for you. I generally do shutter speeds because apertures change my depth of field on my image. The image changes with aperture. It does not change with shutter speed unless something's moving. It's always a give and take in this thing. So, you know, if had you bracketed through another one, you know, two stops up from this may have really worked better. And, you know, it's digital. So bracket by thirds of a stop. You'll see a difference. Yep, right here. See, this needs to be brighter. These Rayovac, we know that we know that. That's a, what I call a touchstone. We know that those are white, and they're quite gray here. here this is white. That's gray. Do you see the difference? And so we know uh, that's one of the the ways that our brains tell us that things are underexposed because we look for touchstones, things that we know, uh, and we in our brain says, oh, it's too dark or it's too light if it's overexposed. Captured Grace, have a couple of photos. Okay, some bikes. Yeah, okay, Captured Grace. Okay, so yeah, you um, you know, you got two horizontal shots, uh, but you made a vertical poster out of it. That's fine. Um, uh, folks, and I will I will say one more time, we won't say it again. Uh, we won't ask you to design things in here until we get to the design part of the class, which is uh, late summer and then we'll be introducing some kind of cool design stuff for those of you who are not designers uh, I think you'll enjoy it uh, so let's look at the shots the mountain bike looks good the mountain bike looks good I like this one better than this one this one looks like you took a picture of the bike over there nice shot this one looks like I'm in the picture of the bike like I'm right there like I'm kneeling down with you I'm in the picture where this one is just kind of over there. Do you see the difference? I would see more of this, less of this. This is a picture that has, uh, I mean, you know, a, bill, a bazillion people take this picture. This one, not so many. This one's thought out. You made this one, you took that one. This one's more of a take. More of a take because it's like the bicycles there and the towns down there and the dirt's here and the sky's there. Uh, there's no there's no relationship between them. There's no feeling between them. Chris Dean, second shot reshoot Bristol. We love it. Whatever the weather. Okay. Um, 
nice shot of Bristol. Uh, these these colorful little things there. Now that's a that's the place that you uh, found and shot. So uh, I think you uh, in in many ways made the shot. You got the the heavy clouds and the bright things here. The only thing is, let's bring up this foliage. Let's get it up so we know that it's trees, and let's get up this foliage in front. Let's not let all of this just go into some some darkness and if you want to resaturate or you know add some saturation to the middle part of that stuff to get some color out of it um, do not accept uh, that these trees go dark up here that's a that's a relationship of the sky we don't have a whole lot of sun in the sky we have a great big dark gray soft box so these things you know green tends to go dark fine get in there with Lightroom Photoshop whatever you're gonna do pull that up pull these things up and really give us an interesting foreground there suki b are you ready to come out and play all right suki um yeah uh you made the picture got somebody to do something i like that i don't like the cars in the background maybe a different angle would have would have worked better or even lower on the ground and using the red umbrella as a backdrop so we just got ground reflection and and kid um, in the shot because when I look at it that's really the shot right there is really the shot um, that's all that back there is just distraction didn't need it there's your picture so when you're when you're working with with your subject do that shot go step into the shade somewhere where you can really see it and then ask yourself is this what I wanted to do Is this everything in this shot is your responsibility so when you look at it you have to say is this what I wanted is this what I needed to show and if the answer is I don't know think about it think about it trip Barker mozzarella uh, prepare for Georgia drought okay very uh, powerful image here this this uh, shot of the the uh, flower pot is pretty cool dead flowers um, uh, it's going to draw your attention. Um, yeah, it, it would definitely draw the attention. I'm, I'm not sure how it was lit here. Do, 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 Have the water supply tightened up. Yes. Or not to, uh, not to let dead plants make them, uh, okay so uh, water drops are are zooming the other way yeah it's a problem we always had in, in analog days we didn't have uh, second curtain shutters until right at the end of film okay cool cool a bad day here a fabulous day on the slopes cute shot of the kid you made this picture work we've got the rain coming down we've got an interesting background uh you've kept the background at a minimum so we don't have a whole lot to look at and we've got this little this young lady here with her uh, her boots and her her top and the, the umbrella now what we need to do is lighten this umbrella up a little bit let's lighten her up a little bit see her hands how bright her hands are look at her face they don't match I know she's under the umbrella, but this is a poster. They've got a match. It's got to bring her upper part up about a half stop. Um, very nice. Okay, and here's the shot. Yeah, your um, your editing isn't bad, bad here, and I think that you um, I think that that you are uh, uh, you're new at this. But you have good instincts. Your instincts were, uh, we don't need this crap up here. We don't need to see all these holes in this. And we don't need to see this much lawn. So your instinct was, was very correct. Whether it's pulled off as best you possibly can do, well, like you say, you got to cut it off somewhere. Um, but your instinct to uh, give us this dark little area and her and have the whole thing feel a little, uh, a little windy, cold, chilly, blustery, was good solid par positive not a vertical um, and we captured an image uh, it's a nice nice capture of a sunset 
it, we got to make the, something happen in these shots. Got to make it. Um, you can't. You can't, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You can't shoot this and get hired. And I'll tell you why. Um, you can buy shots like this on iStock for thirty-five dollars. You can get a sunset shot, and if that's all they needed, they could simply go to iStock and pay, you know, thirty-five, fifty bucks and get a thing. They need a shot from you, from your eye, something you created, and um, you got to push it farther beyond the the edge of the envelope than that. Melissa Ann, always sunny in Pittsburgh. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, uh, got the the you know this and this is a this is a chance of Melissa. This is a case of Melissa Ann getting out there and making something. We got highlights on the umbrella. We've got the great little flowers and the muted colors and the uh, rain outfit there. Um, so yeah, that that works. That's a, a good solid attempt. We might get a better background, something at some point. But uh, you've made this picture. You haven't just taken it, and that's really key. Um, listen, it's a little flat, um, but there's a uh, you know uh, there's a lot going on for this shot. It's not too busy, and it's something that we could look at uh, up on a, something big. JMPH, leave the ice scraper, bring the fun. Yep, I uh, like your ice scraper shot, but we need to come in like this and make it a vertical. Make it a vertical. Um, I think the I think the ice scraper and the boats are what's important. Not sure that the beach is real important. And also, when you're shooting through a car window, uh, you're going to have to fix it somehow because uh, well, we've got the reflection here because the sand isn't gray. Uh, actually blue gray it's not it's it's much brighter than that so that means all these boats out here these white boats are a little bit underexposed yes we're looking through a car window but we got to do something about it to feel make it feel right barefoot fin um, all right uh, it's a beautiful picture barefoot but you need to make this photograph not find it out there um, there's a tendency to go out and look for interesting things in the weather and, and remember I didn't say that it had to be a location or a place or an event or even weather it just had to be a poster uh, this is a very pretty photograph and could be used for a poster for sure but at the same time just like I said before we have to make images and in the whole idea this year is for you guys to go from taking images to making images we have to make images that are better than what our clients can get for fifty dollars uh, and we have to get the subject matter and composition and lighting and everything we've got to get it solid we just have to get it solid and have to make sure that we are making something for them to see making something for them to to desire all right so uh, that was the uh, good critique here thanks folks for, uh, for coming along I'll post this uh, video here momentarily why am I telling you that because I'm recording it and I'm used to talking live so I'm out of here thanks